You probably recognize Rick Petko from American Chopper. He started working at Orange County Choppers as a fabricator and builder in July 2003, but he's not part of the operation anymore. So, what's Petko up to these days? In 2012, Petco married Brittany Cockerham on an episode of American Chopper. Even though Senior and Junior were feuding at the time, they still came out for Petco's wedding. Once Petco was married, his priorities began to shift. Petco and Cockerham welcomed their first daughter, Everly Rose, in October 2013. Judging by the countless adorable photos of Everly hanging out on motorcycles on Petco's Instagram profile, it's clear that he's loving fatherhood and encouraging his daughter to follow in his footsteps. Everly seems to be taking after her father and looking up to his example. According to Petco, this girl already understands the need for speed. Petco told Discovery Channel, if it's got wheels, she says, go. I feel the need, the need for speed. After American Chopper was canceled in 2012, OCC wasn't quite done being featured on reality TV. A spin-off of the popular series, simply titled Orange County Choppers, aired on CMT from 2013 through 2014, and Petco continued on as a cast member. Orange County Choppers filled the void for dedicated fans of American Chopper, but the series was short-lived, running for just one season. It was a similar concept to American Chopper, but just didn't carry the same appeal. It wasn't quite the same without Senior and Junior's fights keeping keeping things interesting. It was nice for fans who weren't quite ready to say goodbye to Senior, Petco, and the rest of the crew, but it was missing the exciting dynamics between cast members that made the original so entertaining. After Orange County Choppers ended, some of the American Chopper cast members reunited in 2014 for a Discovery Channel special titled American Chopper Shack Bike. Unfortunately, not everyone was back on board for it. Petco made an appearance, but there was no sign of Junior. The special was about the crew building a custom bike for Shaquille O'Neal, and while it was a challenge, the crew really stepped up. Shaq's custom-made bike, nicknamed the Man of Steel, turned out to be the biggest in OCC history. This bike featured a 48-inch handlebar, a 6-inch rake, a 23-inch front wheel, and a 20-inch rear wheel. Until the American Chopper revival started airing, this was the last time viewers saw the crew at OCC appear together on screen. In following years, Petco made some pretty serious changes in his life and career. They would take him down a new path that diverged from the rest of the cast and crew from American Chopper. Plenty of people can relate to Petco's frustration with his long commute, which he put up with for years while working at OCC. Three hours in the car each day took away from time spent with his family, enjoying hobbies, or simply relaxing. Fans of American Chopper were well aware of Petco's extended traveling times, since he mentioned it plenty of times on the show. And although he pushed through it for over a decade, it clearly began to wear him down. You know, Rick's one of those guys, he, he doesn't really say a lot. But every day he drives to OCC about two hours each way from Pennsylvania. One reason that Petco left OCC was because he wanted to spend less time in the car and more time closer to home, doing what he really loved and engaging with his local community. It also made life a lot easier for his family. Once American Chopper ended and Petco became a dad, he began to think seriously about working closer to home. This was always part of his plan, even though it took several years for him to jump ship from OCC. In 2016, Petco opened his own fabrication shop in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, in conjunction with the Pocono Mountain Harley-Davidson dealership. It all started in December 2015, when Petco entered a partnership with the dealership's management. According to Petco, they were super enthusiastic about working together from the moment that he approached them, which took him by surprise. It's rare for American dealerships to include fabrication work in their shops. Knowing him personally as a hard worker and a stand-up guy, the dealership managers knew that bringing Petco into the business would be a huge boost. Now, customers can essentially build their custom dream bikes through the dealership, and Petco's partnership generated publicity. Petco is clearly happy with his new full-time gig and the responsibilities that it presents. Petco told the Pocono Record, It has really anything we need to make anything for anyone's Harley. If they can dream it up, we can build it. That's the main goal. Petco's talents are not limited to working on bikes. He has plenty of other interests, and now that he's not working full-time for OCC, he has more time to spend on outside pursuits. Petco's shop, RPD & Company, runs out of his home. Through his shop, Petco does metalwork, hand forging, and custom knife work. As Petco explains on his personal website, he was originally interested in metalwork long before going on TV. Yes, his true passion is building motorcycles, but that's not all he loves to do. He actually went to welding school. Eventually, he went to work as an industrial contractor, relining kilns and furnaces for a living. Now his business specializes in handmade culinary knives, and he takes custom orders. He often shares his recent knife work that he's proud of on Instagram. 
Um, actually, I, did, I was just coming up with actually a new blade shape when I <clears throat> when this whole situation came up. Um, I, went, I was going for something almost like a like a train, like a high speed train. Peco's latest project is creating custom wedding bands for RPD and company customers. Wedding bands are the perfect opportunity for him to get creative with his metalwork. Petco only takes custom orders for wedding bands, working with customers to create a band that is a symbol of their love. There is no doubt that it would cost a little extra to hire Petco for a custom wedding band, but for big fans of American Shopper who like his artistic style, it might be worth the price. After all, a wedding band is meant to last for life. Petco and Cockerham's second child, Lucy, was born in 2016. Like her older sister, Everly, she seems to love hanging out in the bike shop and spending time with her dad. Petco supports his daughters by encouraging him in one of their favorite sports, Taekwondo. Petco is enthusiastic about fatherhood and putting his family first. Viewers of American Chopper will remember that he was always one of the most down-to-earth members of the cast. He kept his head down, focused on his work, and prioritized what really mattered. It's likely that his new responsibilities as a father were one of the reasons he keeps a lower profile these days. Spending time with his wife and daughters is clearly number one on his list, and being a reality TV star isn't always conducive to being a family man. Petko is a relatively private person. Anyone who watched American Chopper will know that he was never in it for the fame and fortune. He was just along for the ride, and he was never too attached to the idea of becoming a bona fide reality TV star. He does his job for the love of it, as evidenced by the fact that he has continued in the same line of work even after the camera stopped rolling. He shows no signs of stopping. The very qualities that made Petko so endearing to audiences, like his laid-back, low-maintenance attitude in comparison to other reality TV stars, is probably why he's not vying to be in front of the camera anymore. He doesn't crave the attention. He's had a pretty good run on the small screen, and now he's happy to turn over a new leaf and seek out different opportunities. Petko told the Pocono record of his time on American Chopper, That was great while it lasted, but it still wasn't the core of what I was about or what I like to do. Even so, Petko appeared on the web series Sons of Speed for the Motor Trend Network in 2017. The series followed Billy Lane, who also builds motorcycles, and his good friend Xavier Murray in their quest to revive the era of board track racing. Lane is an avid collector of motorcycle engines built in the early 20th century, and his goal is to restore them and bring them back to the racetrack. In Sons of Speed, Lane and Murray were preparing for an upcoming race at the New Smyrna Speedway in Florida. It's a limited series of only two episodes, so fans of American Chopper looking for similar shows can easily finish watching it in one night. Petko's part in the show involved working on a specific bike for Lane. He was interested in the project because it meant that he would get to work with older bikes, which has always been one of his passions. Petko said, I've always had a thing for older bikes. It's like a resurgence, it seems like, with a lot of people just wanting to bring back these bikes. To go 100 miles per hour on a 100-year-old bike is kind of cool. The miniseries was a relatively low-key commitment, which is probably another reason why Petco chose to partake. After being off the air for several years, American Chopper returned to the Discovery Channel with a brand new season in 2018. A full decade after their business partnership crumbled, Senior and Junior were running their own shops, but they were finally ready to set aside their differences and work together on camera again. The biggest issue that me and Paulie had was working together. So working on this Yankee bike is a little strange. It kind of brings back some bad memories. Longtime fans were definitely excited to see many of their old favorite cast members, but not everyone returned for the revival. Petko was notably missing from the two most recent seasons, and while there's always a chance that he could make a surprise appearance, he hasn't hinted at it, and it seems unlikely. He's got a lot on his plate right now, and it seems like he would rather just keep the door closed on American Chopper. Petko's fans will always be able to check in on him and see what he's been working on, but when he said that reality TV was not his major objective, he meant it. We'll never say never. It's not unthinkable that Petko could pay a visit to his friends at OCC one day while the cameras are rolling, but for now, it's safe to say that American Chopper is behind him. Petko may not be on TV anymore, but fans who want to see what he's up to can easily catch him on Instagram. He is very open about his latest projects and updates on his family life. While he is clearly very involved with his own community in Stroudsburg, he also has plenty of work commitments all around the country. Petko travels for bike shows and races, and when possible, he likes to bring his family along with him. For example, in October 2018, he shared that he was traveling down to the Tennessee Motorcycle Revival to show his Indian racer in the Blings Cycles bike show and ride the bike in the Flathead race. Petko has also shared that he's looking forward to participating in the Sons of Speed event again. He's always updating his fans on new bikes that he's working on and whether or not he'll be getting them out on the track. He knows that although his audience can't tune in to see him on TV anymore, they are still interested in the bikes he's constructing and where he's headed next. 
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.